right, let's take a look at an item of trading volatility expected next week. And it's the week starting Monday, the 13th of November. The big event, I think, is going to be around U.S. inflation on Tuesday, the 14th. We are looking for consumer price inflation data released. The headline growth is forecast to accelerate to 3.8 percent in October, year on year from 3.7 percent in September. Is the risk to the upside? Core CPI growth is expected to remain at 4.1 percent year on year. The Fed's recent comments, questions have to be asked. What does the Fed know about these figures that are due to be released officially next Tuesday? Now, if it turns out that we do have an upside risk, I think there's an upside risk to the US dollar across many of the currencies. But what I want to show you here is particularly the dollar against the Japanese yen. We know the Japanese yen is the subject of all sorts of selling pressure because the Bank of Japan uh, isn't moving on interest rates. It's unlikely to do so in the near future. There may be some suggestion that the BOJ, if the data provides some sort of support, we could well see uh, some uh, further restrictions in terms of monetary policy come next year. Will it raise interest rates? Well, that could well be the only reason why anybody would want to buy the Japanese yen at these levels. But I think if we do see a stronger CPI data in the States, there's every reason to suggest that we've got this 151.95 price target in view. Now, that was the high uh, we saw in October last year. Uh, which was the intraday high, which is when we saw the Japanese authorities come in to uh, buy the Japanese yen, which saw the dollar move all the way down to this line of support at 127.25. Uh, Since then, uh, we've seen further interest in bar, uh, buying the dollar because of rise in US interest rates. So I'm looking at this area up here, uh, possibly to be pierced uh, with the dollar rising on the back of an expected uh, stronger print for CPI come Tuesday, the 14th of November. <music>